this is Quill Taylor, recording entry number 10. This is being recorded on my 23rd day in Moorgrove. Entry begins. I'm in the library. I snuck in a couple of hours ago, and I think Liv is just about ready to close up. She doesn't know I'm here, and I'd like to keep it that way. I'm in a nook in the wall behind a bookshelf, close enough to the door that I can catch what's going on. Abby and Essa are supposed to show up soon, possibly with Ez, but I'm not sure. Any time I tried to ask about it, Essa changed the subject, and, well, Abby never talks to me anyway. I've been- Hey there! Hello, Liv. It's been a moment. It certainly has. How have you been? Good, thank you. I've been getting quite a bit of reading done. You'd be proud of me. Oh, good. Anything you'd recommend? Oh, hardly. Just some dusty old novels. Hey, um, maybe Just we should- Just a moment, dear. I'd like to talk to Liv for a bit first. Oh, do you have somewhere else to be? We can plan another day if you'd like. My schedule's pretty Not open no and I- need. We're exactly where we need to be. Oh, good. Well, I was hoping I could show you the new books we have upstairs today, but... Well... I think today we should stay down here. Liv, if you're tired, we don't want to keep you late. Of course not. As you said, we can always plan another day. Well, I would like to talk to you. I know you're both busy. We'll plan some time during the day. I think night time might be a bit too much to ask. Why don't you get some sleep? We'll see you soon. Okay, well, if you're sure. Good night, Liv. Sleep well. Abby. I know. Essa was supposed to keep her from getting hurt. She's fine. You know how much it cares about her. It won't be happy if she gets a bruise or something. Yeah, I know. It took you too long enough to notice. I'm plenty observant. The problem is, you don't usually allow the librarian much time to speak with us. I wanted to have at least a few words. And now you've gotten them. Can we begin? I have a library to reorganize, and it's not an easy job. It is for you. What seems easy to you is plenty of effort on my part. If there was any chance you'd listen, I could tell you about it. But I believe Nanny would like to get things back on track. Indeed. Well, then let's. Who wants to go first? I'll start. I have quite a bit to cover. I'll get comfy then. So, first things first. I know things have changed somewhat since the last time we talked. But he said to move forward. He doesn't seem to think they're much of a threat. That's good news. Hopefully, things can work out between you two. Hardly a chance at this point. They're too nosy for their own good. The second thing is, I cannot get Ciara on our side. She's difficult, as you know, and she's got a town to run, I suppose, so I can't exactly blame her. She's taking this entire thing far too lightly. Why don't we just move forward without her? I have to agree. She hasn't been very helpful in the past. I don't understand why we have to wait on her now. Because she's our best backup plan. She shouldn't be. Well, Aris has not given us many other options. He sent a Zyander for this exact reason. Just get him to wipe their memories again instead of wasting time trying to get Ciara to be useful. It's a fruitless venture. I agree. I suppose we can try to work around it. The thing is, Zyander has been busy. He can't keep wiping their memory, it's draining. It shouldn't be. Why can't he just draw from Eris like he normally does? That's the thing I mainly wanted to bring up. Quill's presence here has caused more than a few complications. Eris hasn't told me if he knows anything about it, but I doubt he does. Wait, what kind of complications? You haven't told me any of this. I wanted to wait and watch for a bit, but... Well, with that recording device, you so helpfully provided them with the resources to get. Things are getting a bit strange. For one, technology has started firing up again, and I'm not sure if anyone has noticed. The other day, there was a car driving towards the main road. There... couldn't have. Not close enough to see. It seems the town's defences have been slacking a bit. I'm not sure yet if it's because Anthony is allowing them to, or because Quill is interfering, but... 
they sound like a real thorn in your side. Fortunately for them, I've not seen anything so far that can prove what you think. Explain. They don't seem all that formidable. Sure, they have a bit of resistance towards Eris, and I don't doubt that annoys him very much. You don't know the half of it. He's been testy since they started properly researching. And not that we all don't enjoy seeing Eris annoyed, but honestly, I think they're not that impressive. You're giving them too much credit. I agree. I think we should stop focusing on Quill and pay attention to what we were brought here to do. Anthony's going to be 11 soon, and I want to be prepared. That's the reason I'm concerned. I want it to be a coincidence that they've shown up two weeks before his birthday, but Eris seems to think that it's not. Eris, 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 why does he want this so badly? I think the world's fine as is. Our world is. But out there, it's not all it's supposed to be. You know what? I don't think Quill deserves this. Us trying to, what, kill them? It's a waste. Make them leave. Just stick them on the bus and let them forget. Why is that so hard? They won't leave. You remember what happened the first time I talked to them? Yes, but as I under- Changing short-term memories does not change an entire person. Their response will be the same. What if I leave them into the archives? What good would that do? It would just give them more resources to figure things out with. What if that's a good thing? How could that be a good thing? I, I mean, what if they'd want to help us if we tell them what's going on? Even if they did believe it, I don't think they'd see our side. What even is our side? Keeping Anthony safe. What were you thinking about the archives? I don't see how it could help, but maybe you have a better idea. The Protector is good at what he does. If you do say so yourself. I do. It's possible that if Quill were to venture into the archives, then they might not come out. It's worth a shot, and I think I can help with that. Hold on, are we seriously considering this? It's a bit easier than trying to get Ciara to cooperate. The Protector is a good option. Is there any guarantee that that'll work? I am the one who suggested it. It does control him, Essa. Well, I wouldn't go that far. He has a mind of his own, of course. I just steer him in the right direction. And that's enough guarantee for me. Fine. Let's just hope he doesn't carry the same feelings for Quill that the librarian does, then. We all have the same feelings about Quill. It's just that we have different goals when it comes to them. I feel quite disheartened that after ten rotations, I still have to explain how this works to you. I like you better as Liv. I like you better when you talk to her. Both of you, please. Now you know how I feel! Let's all calm down. We have one more thing to address, and I'd like to avoid having another meeting anytime soon. I think if I have to listen to you argue one more time, I'll get to my brain. If it wasn't she so wasn't condescending, so then maybe we'd be able to get something done instead of arguing all the time. Can we please? Get this over with. Anthony will be 11 in two weeks, and we have to be prepared. Eris is sending two representatives down to check on us and make sure everything's going according to plan, and we'd better be able to say yes. That's still loads of time. We have all the time in the world. It's not enough. Even you can't change what's already set in stone. The nanny's right. Hush. Fine, let's finish up. I'll help the host lead Quill down into the archives, and Essa, you and Ez can deal with the representatives when they get here. I'll follow up with Maya Ciara, just in case your archives idea doesn't play out. Sounds like a plan. Now, if you two will excuse me? You do know that if you didn't reorganize every day, people would actually come in here. And not have the entire place to myself? I don't think I could stand it. Maybe think about Liv instead of yourself for once. The librarian is always my priority. We're leaving now, Essa. If you're so worried about the librarian, then you can visit her with Quill tomorrow. She has a name. And a title. As do I, and as do you. Now come along. Have a good night. And you as well, Nanny. I'll be seeing you.
Not too soon, I hope. I believe I'll start on the second floor. Ends. The domestic life of Anthony Todd will return on July 5th, 2020. The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd is a podcast by J.R. Steele and is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The voices of this season were J.R. Steele as Quill Taylor and Abby, Sam Lukey as Essa slash Sasha, and C.V.V.M. as Liv and the host. The writing, theme music, and sound editing were done by J.R. Steele, and the script was edited by River Tepler. Follow J.R. Steele on Twitter at pen underscore of underscore steel, and find The Domestic Life on Instagram at Domestic Life Podcast. Visit the website, penofsteel.wixsite.com forward slash domestic life, or join our Discord using the link in the description. Thanks for joining me.